So we're here today to talk about raw time-lapse techniques. How you can take an image like this and make it look something like this. We just had the most amazing Swedish dish called, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's, a, it's a prawn sandwich. Uh, it was fantastic and it cost a lot of money, but it's for work. <laughs> it, was, it was worth it for this time lapse, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just for reference, we're shooting this video right now against a window, something that you don't really do very much when you're shooting video because it's so hard uh, to get that lateral range uh, from the darks that are kind of here to the brights that are back there. But look what happens when you shoot just a still shot of this in RAW. Okay, now if you take that image and you adjust it back and forth, you know, in your post-processing, then you get an image that looks like this. So then you can make a time lapse out of that and it looks amazing. Here's a few more images that we shot. So if you liked how that looked and you want to find out a little bit more, um, we actually have this tutorial right here, which is talking about how to make a hyperlapse from start to finish. So we walk you through the whole post-processing as well. So you can see how you take it into the program, manipulate the brights, manipulate the black. It just looks fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that. Here are links to a couple other time lapses that we've done uh, and little tutorials. And we'll see you in another video. All right, here's a question for you. Do we as documentary filmmakers have an actual responsibility to tell the truth? Of course, you might think, of course, that's a silly question, but it's not so simple. Oh man, Jonas and I are going on this kayak trip. Oh, and I think we packed way too much. <laughs>